Hello my friends, this is Jody Renshaw with The Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36 and we are doing um, a video for haul number 15 today which seems like I've done way more than 15 and also wow we're already at 15 so that's kind of cool and we start by taking a sip of our coffee if you want to join coffee every day all day Today's coffee is brought to you by the Miami Dolphins, my husband's favorite football team. I don't know anything about sports. I know balls go into goals and hoops. Or, yeah. Or hole, goals, holes, hoops, nets. But that's not a ball. That's a hockey puck. See how good I am at sports? Anyway, go to a to a tongue of Iowa. See how good I am at sports. So, anyhow, today is Friday, and yesterday I went to uh, the Catholic thrift store local to Bangor and Goodwill. Wait, did I go to Goodwill yesterday? Yeah, I did because um, because Isaac watched the puppy. I think it was yesterday or the day before. So anyway, I have a haul. This I like this haul. It's, it's kind of eclectic and interesting. So we'll get right into it. First, I'll show you the mistake I made. Is it a mistake though? It's a learning thing. I look at this guy from afar, or gal. I ran to grab it because it said 50 cents. I looked at the bottom, it had some numbers, it looked, kind of looked like made in Japan, totally knew it was vintage. Look at the green eyes. Yes, yes. So not until I got home did I see how absolutely chipped up it was. Right there. Yes, there it is. And right there. And I showed it to Isaac and I was like, how did, how did I not see that? I carried it around with chunks out of its ears, but it's still beautiful. If you're local and you want it, let me know and I'll put it on the porch for you because it still has use. It's just not my decor. So, um, although I love elephants, it's not my decor. So if you would like it, you let me know. If you would like anything that I show you today and you're local or not local, you can email me uh, the email in the description and we can make a deal because if I don't have to list it and pay 12%, then I can pass the savings on to you. So, so that's good. And there's a blue jay eating at my bird feeder right now. I need to put a camera out on the bird feeder. I've been asking Halise to do that. And just like one of those outdoor 24 seven cameras, he has them at his camp, so we could do it. We could figure it out. Um, all right, let's get into it. I'm just gonna start from the front and go back. So the, these I found at Goodwill, these bookends. And I knew they were something special. I knew they had something to do with Judaism, and they clearly do. I do not know how to read Hebrew, but I looked them up, and uh, they say Oppenheim, Israel. So that was kind of a giveaway. And I looked them up, and I believe there, there are two different kinds. Um, one, two different kinds that look like this. One are like, they're also made in Israel. They're, they're astrological signs or something like that, which I didn't know was a thing uh, with Judaism, and maybe it isn't, but they were also made in Israel. And then these, I do believe, are symbols of the faith, different symbols of the faith. And I see these resell for anywhere between 20 and, I want to say, 45 to $50 and I paid $4. So I'll definitely put these on eBay. 
unless somebody else wants them, but they're very nicely made, very attractive. And then, let's see, what else? Oh, look at these. I got these at the Catholic thrift store. So dollhouse mugs. These are too precious. So you hang the little mugs. They're dirty. They're dirty. And can you even see that yet? And the names are on them. So the little, maybe in the little kitchen of your dollhouse. But the names are Anne, Grandpa, Pat, Grandma, Steve. I always wanted to name a female dog Steve. Donna, and that's it. Yeah. I think I paid 50 cents. And I looked these up and they, I, I do believe they're about 20, 20 or so dollars. So that's good. That works. And let's see. Oh, this one. I knew this was a good find when I grabbed it. I thought it was a vase. I didn't even look to see what it was. I'm going to turn me up a little bit. There we go. So I thought it was a vase and it turns out it, it it's a candle holder. And it's all marked on the bottom Sigma um, Trent Taster Setter Sigma and copyright Bill. I can't remember his last name. No, is that Bill? Anyway, I looked up the cat and this easily goes for 40 to $50. So anything with this cat, apparently, because it looks like this is um, a very British uh, character or a character well loved and stuff is made in Britain. What is happening to my English? Ready? Touchdown. Touchdown. So I forget the name of the cat. I probably should write a list over here of everything I've looked up and what the names of things are. I probably should. This is really, really dirty. Very dirty. No chips or cracks or anything like that, but needs like for me to scrape off some wax from a candle. And um, I'm loving the bird. Loving the bird. Aha, look at that. So yeah, this was a really nice find. And basically selling this will pay for everything else. So, so that's good. Then, so I, when I was at Goodwill, I saw my friend Peggy. Hi, Peggy. I love her so much. And she was walking around grabbing goodies and I was walking around grabbing goodies. And I think I saw her maybe three or four times because I remember thinking about her dress or something. I'm always looking at women's dresses. Uh, I'm always looking at people. I love people. I love people. So finally, she was wearing her mask. And I don't remember if I was or not, because you can decide. And usually I'll just put it on when someone comes near me. So I have it hanging or... Um, or whatever. I don't, it depends on the situation. So I didn't really recognize her at first. And then I walked up to her and, and said hello to her and we hugged and we're happy. And then we kind of shopped together for a little bit. Well, I asked Peggy if I should buy this and she said yes. So this is me rescuing something, rescuing some art and Peggy uh, enabling me to rescue some homemade art so this is a tile just a tile and jan jen pardon me jen made it in 2018 there we go and it has some issues but overall i think it's lovely and it's very main and it was a dollar so peggy was like yes get it and i was like fine peggy get off my back Peggy. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe a main mystery box? 
I have so much main stuff to do a main mystery box. That will be fun. I need to do that. I would love making it. I would love making it. Then I found a Doberman Pinscher cup ornament thingy. I mean, you could use it on your Christmas tree or you could just hang it as decor. I've never seen like a dog in a cup like this and it doesn't have a maker. So I have no idea. It's not a home. Oh, guys, inside, way deep inside, it says 2005. So maybe this was part of a collection. Maybe it's worth a bajillion dollars. I'm going to turn myself down now. A little bright. I'm a little bright. What's happening? Okay. Okay. So, cute. Guys, what do you know I bought? What do you know I bought? Give it to me, give it to me. Pottery! Of course I did. Pottery. Look how pretty that is. It was a dollar. Who does that? It has a stamp. Oh, well, I was going to try to take the sticker off, but it has a stamp, an artist stamp, that I do not recognize. So if you do, let me know. Let me know. Not dirty or anything. Not chipped, not cracked. Just stunning. Stunning. And like I always say, somebody made this. <laughs> With their hands. With their hands. And this made in Japan piece was $1. And I have no idea if anybody wants this, but... Made in Japan, vintage, like probably vintage 80s or so. I don't have the sticker all the way off. But a napkin holder with lupins and little Johnny jump ups and tulips. I wasn't leaving it there. I wasn't leaving it there. Who would I be? Who would I be? Made in Japan. So there's that. Oh. Pin cushions. Am I shaky today? Not really. Not bad. But see these bags under my eyes? Whew. Puppy. The puppy. The puppy keeps me up. I'm going to fix the camera for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I shifted the camera a little to make me feel better, but I don't know if it did anything. So anyway, yes, bags under my eyes, puppy, where were we? Oh yes, pin cushions, whoops. Kitty. That kitty, that kitty has a strange look about her. Maybe it's the beady eyes. And I don't know if they had maker's marks on the bottom, but I'm gonna say Japan. And I'm going to say 1960s or earlier. And then a swan with the flower that's not broken. Guys, the flower is not broken. I'm dead serious. How, did, how does that happen? I lifted these up to make them look cooler. But, yeah, I don't think a mark on this one either. Maker's mark. Nope. So, I'm liking the eyes. Ready? Come on. My puppy is snoring right now. I can hear him. Okay, you didn't get to see the eyes. Yeah. Um, so, or maybe that's Bailey that's snoring. The puppy's on the floor in front of Bailey. They just had lunch, so it's nap time. Okay, then for me and Halise, well, because I'm so good at sports, because you know that, because I know about a basketball goes into a hoop and the football goes into a goal and something, the word love is in tennis, 
I can't get this sticker off. And the person who runs fastest wins the track race. So I'm good. I'm good at sports. So these are basketball symbols for teams. And that at first was cool. When I saw it sitting on the Goodwill shelf, I was like, oh, a tumbler with um, NBA. I almost said NFL. <laughs> but I'm so good at sports that I knew better. So... <clears throat> Yeah, um, my boys are huge into basketball. My son plays basketball and my husband coaches him. So, um, or just started coaching him. But then when I saw it was Jack Daniels, I thought even better. I've just started ridiculously collecting Jack da Daniels tumblers for no reason whatsoever. Maybe because they're inexpensive and I know, see, I'll, I collect things that aren't worth that much to everyone else because then they're easier to find <laughs> and I enjoy them and I don't have to like worry about breaking them or whatever. I don't know. It's just me. So my son, I think my son's favorite team right now is the Lakers. He can tell me if I messed that up. That's on here. And then my husband's favorite team always is going to be the Boston Celtics. And they are underneath the sticker that I need to clean off. So just one. But I have a whole collection of Jack Daniels tumblers over there. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I found this guy. And you, or gal. And you might remember that I have, I found a whole collection of these Homeco elephants. But I only found three and I'm almost positive that this was the one I was missing. Like I am 99.9% .9 sure that of the, f there were four and this was the one I was missing. And I found it at Goodwill where the other, I bought the other three like a month ago. So I've got the collection now to sell. And I did put them in my live sale boxes back there so uh he or she will be in a live sale with their siblings so that was really neat because i was like what are the chances that i would find that then when i was with peggy peggy found this when i was hanging out with my girl at goodwill and she's like well this is pretty and i think it's gorgeous it's so my colors and roses and maybe I could find a way to display it but let me tell you it feels amazing and so I want to wear my floral dresses and just go out into the world in the summertime and just talk to people while fanning myself and maybe while I talk to them too maybe while I talk to them I'll like fan myself wait should I go this way oh yeah I'll fan myself and like st and do like looking around. Oh. Is it, I don't even know where I'm getting this from. <laughs> is it Gone with the Wind? Oh. No, I don't even know. I don't even know. Gone with the Wind is a horrible, horrible story that I grew up loving. So I'm sorry if I made you mad, but I mean, as a story, it's not great. So there is some, there is some something there, right? Not on the other side, but this is gorgeous. Look at, watch, watch when I open it, how the paper, unfolds. That's just so satisfying. I feel like Mr. Rogers right now, just slowly showing you something a couple of times and how the picture unfolds and then how the picture goes away again. Ah, that's way better than the fanning myself. It's a little ridiculous but I, th I might keep this for the I might I might enjoy it this summer I'm afraid to break it though I'm afraid to break it I'm not I'm hard on some things I have no idea 
I have no idea why I bought this. I have no idea. It's just a tiny little plate. And it says Spencer Gifts Japan 1977. I didn't even know Spencer Gifts existed in 1977. I mean, it's got to be the same Spencer Gifts, right? Spencer Gifts Incorporated. Oh, and then it's stamped. There's a stamp there. I don't know what that is. I have no, I have no idea. I mean, what's the resale value? Can't be much. And I don't want it for myself. Maybe a mystery box. Maybe. Oh, Wade Whimsies. I got some Wade Whimsies, guys. And what are we doing on time? Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Be thankful that this is not smell-o-vision. Be thankful. Because somebody back here just let one rip. You know who you are. I don't. <laughs> All three dogs are back. Oh, is that a dog right there? Is that Maggie? Yeah, that's Maggie. So we got the puppies moving around right there. Probably he farted. And then Bailey's looking around where the fart came from. And Maggie is, she's fine. So a scarecrow. Oh, guys. Okay, the puppy's moving around. I think he has to poop. I will be right back. <laughs> one, one moment. Okay, taking care of a puppy is non-stop. Non-stop. There we go. Okay, so we sh I showed you the scarecrow. And then this is a young lady, I believe, with flowers. Oh, why? Why do you not want to show yourself? Oh, there we go. And then this, this cat, this cat has an expression. Um, oh, come on. There we go. There's an expression. Then this one is so sweet. It says Wade England on the bottom. Come on. No? No? There we go. That one is very sweet. And then another kitty. Uh, there we go. I like that one. I like that cat better than the other one. So is that just five of them? Yeah, and then I have some Wade Whimsies from another haul. So I might put them together or sell them separately. I don't know, I've not sold Wade Whimsies before. Well, I did years and years ago when eBay first started, when you had to wait for checks to come in the mail. Do you remember those days? So, um, oh, Rescued Pottery. You know I did it. You know I did it. And when we were leaving, Peggy saw it in my cart, and she was like, um, that's really beautiful. And I was like, well, it, it has its charms. But uh, close up, it's got some issues. But somebody made that. Definitely a home project made by JP. You go, JP. Yeah, it is a P, not a B. You go, JP. So, excuse me a moment. All right, the dogs are done protecting the house. Well, no, they're never done. They are never done. So yes, JP made this and I did not want it to go to the dump. So we're going to find a home for it. And then I found some Lennox cats. Look at this one. A pumpkin kitty. This is very pretty. I'm not that into this kind of thing, but this, that soft color orange is really nice with the white and cream, I mean, and the pinks. It's just very sweet. And, oops, 
There we go. Lennox. Uh, American by Design. Copyright Lennox. So I did look this one up, and probably this one will go on eBay because it has some value. But this one has even more value. This one is called Kitty Kisses. And it's got an umbrella with hearts. And it looks like the ki one kitty is holding some kind of a treat. The other kitty is holding the umbrella. And look at the way they are looking at each other. Well, look at this. Look at this one. Look at that one. Ooh la la. So yeah, very, very pretty. And Lennox. There we go. And speaking of kitties, here's a mug I found that I typically wouldn't buy this kind of a mug because I don't know of its resale value. And I looked it up and I couldn't find it. And it says Made in China by Madison Studio. But I, Peggy told me I should. She did. So, fel feline sleepy. And then a little peak of whiskers up here. And it's in perfect condition. So this will probably go on eBay. I didn't pay much for it. So, and both right and left-handed. It is, let's see, left-handed if you want people to see the whiskers right-handed if you want to see the whiskers so there we go feline sleepy another cute thing oh i'm gonna turn myself up there we go so i have i looked this up i have no idea none whatsoever of the creator i have no idea if this was a home project it, it I, an art studio i i do not know but it is so darn cute. Look at that. Look at this whale. With the lighthouse island on top of him or her. The tail. This is perfection. Perfection. And I, I can't figure out what the material is. It doesn't feel like pottery it feel but it does feel like a kind of clay so that would be pottery i don't know i wish you could feel it because i wish this was feel a vision and not smell a vision though because it didn't stop the farting didn't stop um Clearly it's molded, so it's some. It's either some kind of a molding clay. Um, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with like a molding clay. I mean, it's solid, though. It is solid. And very well finished at the bottom so that it lays nice and flat. Could be factory made. I mean, I doubt it, but I... I don't, I don't know how to find anything about it. I really doubt it's factory made. There are just details that seem very um like studio made so and on the lighthouse so i don't know how to market this i don't i don't know how to sell it I, i'm not sure it's stunning though so if you have any ideas let me know speaking of don't know how to market something i spent the better part of last night truly I spent at least two hours, maybe, off and on, trying to figure out this piece of pottery. And I posted it to so many different groups, and I still am having the hard... I... When you post to groups, a lot of people will be like, Google it. No kidding, I already did that. Thank you, I love you, Jesus loves you, but please, I already did that. It has a mark on the bottom, it's in German. I have figured out that this is, whoops, the, there's, it's the name of the artist. And then someone told me that in German it says um, West, wait. It says the town and pot, or the, the 
area, province, I have no idea. I've never been to Germany, though I'd love to. But this is made in West Germany. It says porcelain clay or something, porcelain pottery on it, and has the name of the area which it was made and the name of the artist. The reason I bought it was because it looked like owls were staring at me. And I love that. I love that. So here's the thing. It's an, uh, part, it, it's not an applied handle, which is kind of interesting too. Um, here's the thing about this piece. I couldn't find a whole lot. Yes, this artist is in West Germany. Yes, they were vintage. Like they were, I'm sorry, <laughs> they could be vintage. I'm sure they're vintage. They were working in the 70s and 80s making pottery. Uh, I mean, that they could have been also working in the 50s. I have no idea. I don't know how old they are. I can't find much about them. And the thing is, when I looked at pottery that was similar, this could be worth $15. This could be worth $600. I have no idea. So Halise was like, well, put it on auction and start it at 50 and see what happens. Yeah, but if it's, I don't know how to market it. So if it's something that people are looking for, um, that they're willing to pay a lot for, I'm not, I'm not going to find that customer that way. So I really, I'm going to hold on to it till I can figure out some more about it. The, if I use that name or anything that it says in German there, nothing comes up. Um... Yeah, in, in comps and in current, if I remember right, I think I found one piece and it was on worth point and I haven't paid for worth point yet. So maybe I will just to figure this out. And it was a vase. This is a pitcher, which also can be used as a vase, but it was a very different looking piece by this same artist, but it should give me an idea of what that the value of that artist's work is. So I'll I'll let you know how it goes. Um oh and then there was this this isn't much, but there was this little this little mouse. I had these growing up. So when I saw it in such good condition, I had to grab it. Isn't that sweet? The little felted is it felted? Yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly what it's called, but oh, there we go. So that was fun. Okay. Pillowcases. That's my other jam. This was at the Catholic thrift store. La la la. So two of these, a set of these. Do they smell good? Yes. Because you know when people donate to those places, they use the best Tide. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm just, no, nope, that's not, no mark. I thought there was a mark. Nope, they're gorgeous. So I am likely going to keep these. But if I don't, I'll do a linen sale. So, okay. Speaking of linens, I'm excited about this. Very and speaking of Germany. Okay. So I found, I found this box. Let me show you the box. Old, right? And I, these were on top, these napkins. And although, you know, the coloring's nice, I wasn't that attracted. And there are six napkins. So that's quite a bit. And then it said, German linen tablecloth and six napkins. So I pulled out the tablecloth and oh my goodness. Okay. Plus you get to see my new dress. I got this on eBay. Of course I did. Okay. Look, look at this. Am I showing you enough of it? Look at that. This is gorgeous. 
and in perfect condition. I really don't think they ever took this out of the box. And detailing. So it's a souvenir tablecloth. That's what they call it. With the different places in Germany. Absolutely beautiful. Smells good too. Nothing wrong with the smell. But here's the funniest part. There are instructions on how to care for this. Okay. This side is in German. This side is in English. Watch this. Dear housewife, instructions on how to clean. Dear housewife. Dear housewife, if you want to clean me, and then at the end, if you observe these few hints, you will enjoy me a long time. Okay. So yeah, all its original packaging, I'm assuming, probably some kind of a wedding gift or something that somebody just put away forever. And there are lots of older folks who volunteer and who donate to this Catholic thrift store. So I... Um, I love that about that place. They're, they just always have vintage goodies and they price them so nicely. <laughs> this whole set was $5. $5. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And two more things and then we're, we're good to go. And then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do another video um, where I show one of my collections because I've been watching, excuse me a moment. I've been watching, oh my gosh. I've been watching other people do those and I think they're so much fun. So this is gonna go in the shop that I, this is not vintage. This is gonna go in the shop that I'm going to be putting up uh, bigger goodies in. Look, it, it's a pug. It's just, you know, a canvas piece, more mod, obviously modern, but, um, my friend, Anitra, who owns a peacock consignment shop, wants art for the walls that she can also sell. And I thought this would be fantastic in there. So, all right. Lastly, I left the, I saw these, a, a couple of them at the Catholic uh, thrift shop. And look at this old tape that just fell off of the linens. That is not acid free. So I didn't know their value and I didn't have my phone on me because I was holding my puppy the whole time. And that's the only way I can shop right now. This, this puppy, he's like a big baby. And so anyway, we, um, I went back to the car, grabbed my phone, looked this up, saw that it was worth 60 to $70. So I ran back in and grabbed it. So in the box still, Precious Moments, um, Cinderella photo frame by Walt Disney. So it's a collaboration between Walt Disney and Precious Moments. And it's all ready to ship. It's all packaged up nice. Whoops, oops, oops. Do not break it. There we are. And it's got like this satin case. So yeah, did I show it all? There we go. So they had another one. It was Belle. And for some reason, God bless Belle. She doesn't sell very well. The one that does sell really well that they didn't have was Ariel. But they did have a bunch of precious other precious moment stuff. And I didn't look it all up. I The puppy had to go to the bathroom. So at least I got that. And that you know, pays for my day. So, um, so that's it. That's number 15 haul. So thank you guys so much. We'll do a last sip of coffee. Go, go Miami. And I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye for now. Thank you so much for being here.